Hi there, I just wanted to show a little thing about event effects. Everybody thinking about event effects as adding reverb, delays, flangers to your tracks, like to your events, to your single words and whatnot. But let's check this out. I'll be singing so pretty, not really. <laughs> I'll be singing oh. so pretty. Not really. Oh, here we had a lot of stuff going on. In the middle of here, we have my clock, my watch, saying like, dit, dit, while here, while singing. Okay, we got a lot of issues right here. Great. So let's first start by this one. Enable event effects. Go to click. Let's add some de-clicking here. Uh, to this one, that's, this is very loud click. Let's try to see what we can do about it. Oh, this one. Uh, I'll be much, but let me, let's go with that. Let's, let's don't care. Let's not care. Let's not care too much. I'll be singing, I'll be singing. I'll be singing so pretty. Oh, there's an plosive. Oh my goodness. Here's a plosive. After that, there's some other issue, which is the clock. So let's go here, add plosive. Deplosive from RX7. I'm using RX7 by Isotope. Do this right now. There are other alternatives, but I got RX. So that's why I'm using it. So here. Pretty, pretty. Ooh, pretty. Bypass it. Ooh, pretty. Boom. Okay. It's gone. Fixed. Render it. Okay. Done. Ooh, pretty. And then it's dit dit. There's the first one around here. And then there's another one down there. Now, let's try to do this in a way that any one of you here can do just by having uh, Studio One. Okay, let's try to find that. It, sounds, it seems like it's something here. Wait a second. If we do this and we let loop this section, loop it. I said loop. Is it too short to loop? It's, one sound is there at least. You can see it on a waveform by these small extra high frequency things right there. Small waveforms are high frequency, large ones are low, just saying. So let's now try to get rid of it right there. Let's add a EQ, Pro EQ. And now, this, is it this sound? Oh, there's more. There's, there's extra info there. Oh, this will be hard to remove unless you have some clock remover program. This will be impossible. Possible. <laughs> but at least it's a fun project to try. Oh, there's frequencies of it everywhere. And we can't remove too much or the voice will be weird. Okay, so let's just say, okay, we tried this. We tried, we tried this. Probably wouldn't work very well. Uh, only thing I didn't do now correctly was to make this into event before I added the event effects. But now I just rendered this one, right? And I remove the event effects from the other two where I don't want it. Now, hopefully only this first clock beep is done something about. <laughs> that didn't work well at all. 
Oh, that that was horrible. That's so horrible. And even uh he's out of phase too. Ah, uh, no. Let's use the zero point here. Zero point there. Ooh, pretty. Let's find a zero point here. Uh there isn't any. Oops. Okay, let's see if we can start there then. Okay. E e <laughs> e e that didn't work too well. E e e e e oh, it's something here. E e and there ish. Let's add this. Let's add the EQ. E e e. And it's even longer, actually. It's like this long. E. Here. Add the EQ. E. E. And go into the EQ. Try a bit harder. Be more heavy handed. E. 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 At being heavy handed. Render it. Uh, zero crossing there. Okay, zero crossing ish here. It's close. Not that close though. It's very close. So if we cross fade it like over here, can we do that? I want to cross fade it. It's a small one. Close to the. No, come on. Come on, let me. Come on. Why can't you let me? Get a nice, smooth little crossfade. Let's try. Oh, pretty. Oh, pre it's a bit like the before and after. It's a bit better, but the clock thing was. Ah, you can't really. Like. Mm, couldn't do anything about that. Let's add some more mouth declicking things. Bam. And then just render the whole thing. Bam. I'll be singing so pretty. Oh, pretty. Uh, not the loop. Oh, pretty. Not really. Oh, pretty. It's a bit lower. It's still there, and that's ah, that's irritating. I wanted to manage to remove it better. Like maybe in e e. Maybe if you could add a notch filter. But I guess there isn't any notch filtering. No, not in this Pro EQ. E. E. Okay. E. E. Okay, let's try. No, not add a bus. It's almost the same hockey for me. I'll be singing so pretty. Almost worked. Almost worked. That that's decent. These uh, it's a try at least. We're in the ballpark almost. I wouldn't use it in a song though because mm, if you have to, but well, most of the time when the music comes on, you won't hear it, so you can be less heavy-handed. And if you record stuff yourself, you most likely would do it again if you noticed errors that are taken away from the song. So. But often you get sent material. Pretty. That's why you turn off the auto. Oh shit! I haven't. I forgot. Uh oh. See the volume difference. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. And it, the face also seems like it's have uh, it has flipped. Oops. Oops. Pretty. I messed up. I messed up bad. But yeah, <laughs> the point is still the same. If you want to work with an audio file which has mistakes and you want to use RX, don't you don't need to copy everything into 
the RX program to work closely with all the different uh, restoration tools that are within RX or any other bundle or whatever you want to use to fix your issue. You can just drag a selection, hold it, then you got an event. Enable event effects in your inspector right here. You click the I. And then you choose enable. And then you can add like anything you want. To fix it. So yeah, that's the whole thing. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you.